Ring, ring. Hey, yeah. Uh. I was really hoping it would be Goat Lady. I'm really worried she's dead. Is anyone there? Well, I'll just leave a message. So, it's been a while. The Queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. Oh, good. She's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best, anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plane ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey. If we're not giving up down here, don't give up whatever you are, okay? Or wherever you are, sorry. <laughs> Who knows how long it will take. But we will get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? I want to do the voice, but it's way too late. Oh, nobody. What, nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Hey, human. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Well, besides one thing. The queen disbanded the royal guard. Since we don't have to fight humans anymore. Wow. I have no idea what to do with my life. But that's okay. Because I'm still working hard. Even if it's on nothing at all. So don't feel bad. Pyrus is fine. And Dine is the one that's got it bad. She lost her job. And she lost her house. It was sad. We're taking care of her. She lives on our couch now. It's like a sleepover every night. A sleepover there's no escape from. Oh, we gave her a job too. Sans hired her uh, at this illegal hot dog stand. <laughs> she hates working there, but she makes a mean hot dog. Oh yeah, she still blames you for the disappearance of Asgore. She talks to me a lot about getting revenge on you. She has a ludicrous plan to cross the barrier and beat you up. To be honest, I think it's impossible, but I'd like to believe it's not. Because I want to go with her. Then I get to see you again. Even if I'd have to fight you, well, keep your fingers crossed. And keep in touch. I'll make our plans e or it'll make our plans easier. Bye. Oh, who it is. Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice? just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends, but now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You'll have to load your save file and, well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Undyne? It seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows, maybe she's got the key to your happiness. See you soon. That's the ending, like, that's, it's just like, hey, like, I don't like how you did that. Keep going. I don't know what I just did, but apparently it wasn't the right thing. Do they really want me to go through all that crap again? True pacifist cannot be earned on the first time around, on the first run, but 
Somebody told me it could be before. It was right. Okay. Wait, do I want to save or not save, or does it matter? Do you do stuff with a nun? You can take the elevators back to the top to make your trip shorter. Oh, okay. Um, this one takes me down, right? Yeah. I'm trying to think of how far I've got to go to get back to that town. It's like really far away, isn't it? They want me to walk all the way through like the whole end of the game. This is the point where he dies to a random monster while backtracking. That would be a little silly, wouldn't it? actually kind of don't remember how to get back from here. Uh, this way goes to Spider Cave. I think that's right. Hi, Lion. Hi, Lion. I want to watch all of Steven Universe again again. <laughs> I love that that sentence actually is a real thing. Oh god. Elevator right? Yeah, alright, this is like... I'm not going through all those puzzles again. Oh yeah, at this point I don't really tell... or I don't really mind if you tell me where to go to get back faster, because... You know, I've been all these places, I just don't remember very well. Also, it's like 4 or something in the morning and I can't think very clearly. <laughs> Ah, here we are, right? Uh, left floor one, I guess? I actually I never really understood what the differences were with the left and the right floors. I guess if it was to the left or the right of the elevator? I'm just assuming going back to the bottom. I think this is right. Yeah. Okay, I know where we are. Now I can take this back. Yeah, now we can ride in the boat together. Oh, maybe that's how I finally get into that door. I guess the door is probably the very, very end or something like that. Oh, I thought Undyne's house was by... I thought Papyrus said it was that she was staying with them. No? Papyrus's house is like down here and then around the corner. I'm pretty sure I had to go to Papyrus's house, which is this one on the couch. Hello? Nobody's home. Are you in the closet being a skeleton? No. Oh, right. We undid the ending. Okay, I guess that makes sense. 
Again, sorry, a little sleepy. I think, I'd like to believe that that wouldn't have gotten past me if I was a little more awake, but... Fair enough, I should be able to zip back over there. Oh, it's got a dog for a face! I didn't notice that before, I don't think. <laughs> Running dog boat. Tra la la. Temi Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. No, I shouldn't have another Red Bull. I had one already. And I had coffee today, so it's a lot of caffeine for one day. I'm gonna make myself dependent on it again, and then I feel sick when I stop having it. I remember you. Jeez, I have like a thousand gold almost. Um, left, I think? Yeah, okay. I know where we are. So we go over here, we talk to the duck, the duck takes us across here. And then... Finally get to see this little song and dance, that's cute. This song is so freaking epic. <laughs> Thank you. You're a very nice little bird. You did a good job. Thanks, buddy. Do I, do I know you? Oh, yeah. I remember we talked. Oh, I went too far. Oh. oh, well. I guess we get to listen to the song again. It was up from the save point. You're right, I remember now. I had a bit of a warped vision of where I was. That song is called Bird That Carries You Over a Disproportionately Small Camp. <laughs> <laughs> He's very cute. Oh, there's his house. Or, wait, that's her house. Why is he standing in front of it? Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you great friends. Yeah. Okay, stand behind me. All oh, right, because he called me on the phone. He's like, you guys should be friends. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. What was that, a bone? Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi. I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? <laughs> I like the little excited dance he did before he walked through the door. Here, Undyne, my friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> so are we ready to start? <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie. I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> That's an interesting way to do that. So, why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? The real Foster Forest, thank you for your resubscription. That's 14 months in a row. Let's get some Rocky Ahas in chat, please, for that. Thank you sincerely for the support and for being here and watching and hanging out with us. Wait, I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you, d huh? Right? Yes or never with you? Yes. Really? 
How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you, but I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it, he thinks I can't be friends with you. What a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. It's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Music is very Katamari-like again. I like it. All set, what would you like? Hey! Don't get up! You're the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself. <laughs> uh, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear! Aim with arrows and select with C. <laughs> Sickly yellow liquid... Hot chocolate green cylinder. Key box, blatantly correct choice. T, huh? Coming right up. Oh, that was the tea kettle filling with water. Oh, excuse me. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Classic slide whistle. Okay, it's all done. Your table's kind of messed up, lady. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. Take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey. You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes. And from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if... I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well... I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. 
Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! <laughs> That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking, which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. Afraid? We're gonna be best friends. Oh my god. <laughs> she picked me up by the hair. <laughs> Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. What do you pound? Strong or wimpy? I don't know. She could teach me more if I pound wimply. You pet the vegetables in an affectionate manner? <laughs> oh my god, stop petting the enemy. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, we'll just scrape this into the bowl later. But for now... Yeah, the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best, but I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. <laughs> uh, just put them in the pot. How do you put them in? Place the noodles in one at a time. They clank against the empty bottom. Nice? Alright. Now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. We're stirring! It's about as fast as I can go. Really, I'm actually trying to... Oh, god. Um, no, that's... Kind of messed up the, the whole oven, actually. That's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. The stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right to turn up the heat. Oh yeah, we're turning the heat all the way up several times. We're gonna burn the entire house down very soon. Uh, that's far too hot. Ah, man. No wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. <laughs> so, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. Oh god, what now? I've been defeated, my house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Uh, I didn't want to do any more fighting. I just swing it undone with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh, <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first I hated your stupid saccharine shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him... He probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore... 
I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Oh. <laughs> it's a burning fish. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess we'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden. Okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, wait. This is sudden, but... Can you... Hey, wait. Your inventory's full. Uh, well, I'll be at Papyrus's. Come see me when you have less stuff. Damn it. Why is my inventory always full? Freaking dog salad everywhere, that's why. It's always dog salad. Alright, so... First we say thank you to Yozel1 for the 13 months in a row. Much appreciated. Thank you for the support. And let's, uh, let's do cat chat. Um, I've got to find a box, and I'm also not sure where I am going anymore. The boat was... Oh, well, there's the solution, number one. I'll put the dog residue away. Put the apron away. Put these away. Just keep healing items for now. Oh yeah, I have a box in the cell phone. I forgot. It's already, like, the second time I've forgotten that, too. I'm very tired, actually. I, I'm just hoping that there's, like, resolution here within, like, under 20 minutes. Not that I'm trying to rush it, but, like, I would like to finish it now that we're this far. The waters are wild today. That's good luck. again sometime. Not under 20 minutes. Uh... Yeah, I should do it tomorrow then. I'm a little too tired to appreciate it right now, so it's kind of feeling like I want to just rush through it, which is probably doing it a bit of a disservice, you know? So I'll save here. 